hands up. Break. Lotus. Let's take this off. Break. 72 degrees, 88% humidity. Good morning, YouTube. This is Lotus. Enzo. My name is Will. Welcome to Enzo and Lotus's YouTube channel where we do all stuff pup related. Mostly German Shepherd, obviously. 9 a.m. A little later than I would prefer to be given how warm and humid it's gonna to be today, but still not too bad. It doesn't feel sticky yet. If you are fortunate enough to live somewhere that does not have humidity, just keep that to yourself because it sucks. For those of you who are familiar with humidity, you know, watch your step. Jeez, I almost stepped in that. You know there's a huge difference between heat and humidity. Say so we just don't handle it that well. German Shepherds do a lot of things well and a lot of things awesome. And only like three things not so well. Or at least that's how they tell it. But one of the things they don't do so well is regulate in humidity. So even though it's not that bad out right now, we still won't be here probably more than 15 minutes. And we're not gonna do anything crazy. We're not playing fetch, not doing any type of, anything to encourage running. Lotus will still run because he's a puppy and he's crazy. Likes to run around. Right, Lotus? Yeah. So if you've watched our videos and if you watch videos on my personal channel where I still feature them often, you know that when it's hot out, if we don't get to do something in the morning or if we can't go in the evening or maybe it's gonna rain or something, we'll go hiking because then it's all shaded and everything. Humidity, you can't really do that stuff. I mean, yeah, it is cooler and depending on how dense the woods are, it can be significantly less humid, I guess, cooler in those areas but it's still not quite the same as just being cooler. Not to mention, even those few minutes just getting them out of the house and getting to the trails can be a lot. Uh, when it gets super humid like it's going to the day, really 10, 15 minutes of activity is plenty for them um, because they can overheat. Wow, Lotus, you just went at the house. Oh, geez. Just had to go again. Watching that other dog. Jeez, that's so. <laughs> yep, you just staring him down. That's Hero. So Hero's nice. He's a rescue though, so he's a little temperamental. Not because he's a rescue, I just think he had a rough life. Enzo, come. Oh boy, Enzo. Of course, I don't have a backpack or anything because they'd already done everything this morning. So we gotta go get bags. On Lotus. Lotus, come. Heel. Heel. Break. Break. Lotus, this way. There he is. <laughs> That's Enzo's. You better knock it off, Bark. <laughs> now you got the whole neighborhood barking. This is exactly why, when it's humid, we don't come here.
Lotus, off. Enzo, come on. All right, so I've completely lost track of where this video is at, but the moral of the story is, if you have any dogs, but especially shepherds, and you live in a climate that's humid, you definitely need to be getting them out early in the morning, like sunrise or sunset in the evening. That 12 hours in between, pretty much just need to stay inside. Uh, and if you do go out, short burst. Um, you know, I went out to mess on the car yesterday for, I don't know, maybe like 20, 25 minutes. This was still pretty late in the evening. This was like six, seven o'clock in the evening. Probably later than that, honestly. And, you know, the sun was still up, but it was, it was going down. We were in the shade. But after like 15 minutes, they took themselves inside, which is extremely rare, especially for Enzo to leave me. And he was like, no, I'm going in. So that's why I leave the door, though, cracked open for him, though. So if they want to make that choice, they can. Enzo, place. Lotus, place. Sit. Really? I'm gonna sit opposite directions. How am I supposed to take a photo of that? Heel. Good heel. Boys. Watch the gun. Heel. Heel. Break. Man, got a couple couple pups coming. Heel. Well, let me stay sitting, but try to stretch. <laughs> Meanwhile, now see you got the whole neighborhood going. In. Boys, at Lotus. I'll just get back out. Come on back out here for water. Really? You just drift all over Lotus. Let's just drink it out of the bowl. Don't try to drink it out of Enzo's mouth. All right, boys. In. Lotus, in. This is not a game. Hey, get. Oh, he's chasing the shadows. Is that what you're doing? You gotta work on that though. You can't let that be a distraction, bud. All right, I know I don't exactly show videos of how much water they typically drink, but they killed this bottle when we've only been here for like 15 minutes. We barely walked like one lap, and kind of walked through the field a little bit. Normally, I'd get them to take like a few drinks each, maybe. Enzo might take like one. So, and they were like fighting over it practically. And it's still not even that bad out yet. But they just, they just really don't do well with it. So even though we just live not even five minutes away, definitely make sure you got water. Right boys? They need the waters. Yeah. Right? So yeah, we need them waters. And we're back at the house. All right. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed it and got some usefulness out of it. Subscribe for more, <laughs> subscribe for more German Shepherd content. You can check out my personal channel. Uh, I do a lot of like, vlogging with the pups and stuff less tips and stuff just more just kind of what we're doing that day type of stuff 
So if you want to check that out, Instagram is the same as the YouTube channel, that Enzo and Lotus, if you want to check them out there. And so is, uh, you get more to drink. Other than that, comment below. Appreciate you guys as always, and we will see you on the next video, right? Yeah? Say bye. Say bye.